Hello! Today's video is devoted to one of the most important inventions in history of architecture, arches. It will be, I hope, a well-balanced mix of geometry, history and construction. Before inventing arches, openings in walls were covered with straight beams. The width of an opening was strictly limited due to relatively low bending resistance of such beams. For long centuries people had to live with those boring openings in walls, which probably wasn't their biggest concern, until they slowly but surely developed arches. First attempts most likely were made in ancient Mesopotamia. A famous example is a huge palace gate from 8th century before Christ. So, what's the trick? As we've seen on this sketch, straight beams made of wood or stone have a nasty tendency to break in the middle under the pressure of weight. However, an arch distributes the load nicely to walls. There is one important detail to remember though, a keystone in the middle of an arch. This construction, for instance, wouldn't last long. It's especially important in the case of semicircular arches and similar. Keystones could be decorated with floral ornaments or even bas reliefs with heads. Arches could be emphasized with a thin protruding profile, just for the looks. Semicircular arches were widely spread in ancient Rome. Probably all the Roman flagship structures consisted of this construction. Aqueducts, the Colosseum, even triumphal arches. In ancient Greece, for a change, arches and vaults weren't used. That's the main difference between ancient Greek and Roman architecture, I guess. Also, in early medieval ages, semicircular arches were used both for gates, portals and windows, with very characteristic for Romanesque style biforas and triforas. Since then, various types of arches were popping up like mushrooms after the rain. Similar to semicircular arch is a segmental arch, which is, let's say, less than a semicircle. In later medieval ages, along with Gothic style, pointed arches appeared. The most typical proportions were based on an equilateral triangle, although less and more pointed arches were constructed as well. The last one is called lanced arch. Trefoil arch consists of an outline of three overlapping circles. The most typical arch is two diameters wide and one diameter high. But it wasn't obligatory, of course. Architecture is a very creative field. So here is a different example. Moreover, such arch could be connected with a pointed arch. Even more interesting hybrids are strainer arches. Strainer arch is a collective name for arches requiring additional support in order to avoid a collapse. These arches could have quite fantastic forms, bringing to mind Tolkien's elven architecture. The largest variety of forms of arches comes, however, from Middle East region. For example, a horseshoe arch which, to put it simply, is more than a semicircle arch. Could be rounded or pointed. And an augie arch, consisting of a pair of two curves, one concave and one convex. The most typical proportions were based on an equilateral triangle. It wasn't just a fanciful line, but a clever composition of basic geometrical shapes. If you have problems with remembering which line should be first, concave or convex, don't worry, because here is a reverse augie arch, which is exactly an augie arch in reverse. So this construction will also work. And then we have a tented arch, similar to augie arch, but with a pair of two concave curves. 
and multifoil arch, consisting of many semicircles built around a standard semicircular arch. And yes, Tudor arch. The name can be misleading. This type of arch was very popular in England during the reign of Tudor dynasty, but it was first used in Islamic architecture already in 9th century. We need two small and two large circles to construct this arch. Centers of a small and a large circle are placed on the same axis. Intersection point of the large circles is the top of the arch. Now, when you've seen those various types and know how to construct their overall shapes, it should be easier to design plenty of arches, doors and windows with different details and decorations. Thanks for watching!